Wow. Billy Ocean has got a new do. I'm going to try and different. do that this year. <laughs> Happy 63rd to Billy Ocean and all for you high tone crooners. Placido Domingo is 72. And for you golfers, come on. Doesn't anybody play golf? Jack Nicholas is 73, so happy birthday to all. Yeah, well, Everyone happens. knows who Jack yes. Nicholas is. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Even okay. I know. <laughs> Which is surprising. Well, at least Caroline and I have been waiting for this yes. segment. The inaugural ball is tonight. Everyone wants to know one thing. What will the always fashionable first lady be wearing? No wagering, please. Many <laughs> still remember the glamorous white gown she wore at the last ball four years ago. Uh, we'll hear with a few predictions of style expert Don Del Russo. Thanks for joining us, Don. So happy to be here. Well, well thank you. So now, how would you define Michelle Obama's style? You know, she's very classic. I feel like she knows what works well for her body. Always, whenever we see her in any, any pieces, she really knows that it looks good. She has gorgeous arms, she has a great shape, and she works with things around that. She's not afraid to do color. She's not afraid to add a little bit of trends into her wardrobe. She will do that. But then she's always conscious of, like, affordable designers and people that, you know, she could really support and be proud of wearing. So let's take a look at some of your ideas. This is Nadia. Yes, I Ooh. love this dress. And this is, like, so exemplary of Michelle Obama, the one shoulder strap, which really shows off great arms. Totally. <laughs> She's yeah. got Michelle Obama arms. Exactly. Look at that. I know. Um, and this is <laughs> an Ann, Nadia. It's an Ann Taylor dress, so it's really affordable. It's like $3.65 for this dress, so anybody can get it. It cinches really nicely at the waistline. It's a little bit flowy. It's a really gorgeous royal blue color um, that we've seen Michelle in a few times over and over again. So it's another another look that we're looking I could for see her. her in that. I could yeah. see her in that, but I'm wondering if she'd do the one shoulder again. I know. That's the yeah. yeah, She, 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 she does. She like might want to switch it up. She might want to switch it up. That's yeah. why we, you know, we've kind of played around with a few different dress options. For her. Okay, well, you <laughs> changed up the color, so let's look at the yeah. lovely red gown modeled by Masha. Masha, come on out. Masha is wearing a little strapless red Ooh, gown. Ooh, nice. Um, and I, you know, if you guys, Golden Globes, red, car red carpet, there were a ton of red dresses, and Michelle Obama loves to find, kind of follow those trends as well. So I think the red is really popular. It's something that we might see her turn up in. And we've also heard a little bit about the um, Nancy Reagan red, and that's been, like, a popular thing. So we might bring that, Exactly. We might bring that back. This is David's Bridal. It's, like, under $50. So it's wow. under $150. So it's a great choice for a dress that anybody can get. Really elegant neckline, not too much showing, but still figure friendly, curves, hugs the curves really nicely too. Which is patriotic, looks. like Carolina just said, right. but also show stopping. I mean, exactly. red is it's a totally, favorite color. Yeah, a wow dress. Plus, Absolutely. the clutch was only $49. I know, it which we love. We deal. love a good deal. <laughs> well, now we have an emerald number next, which yes. this is the hot color. I wow. love this dress. It is. It's the Panasonic color of this of 2013. So we have had to do this since Michelle is very aware of trends and styles. She definitely is on top of that, and we may see her turn up in a gorgeous little emerald green dress. And another model with the with the yeah. Michelle Obama arms. Yeah, My goodness. Yeah. And how do I say her name? Is it Jay? Jay. Yes. Jay. Wow. And it's an Al Alfred Angelo dress, and this is also another affordable look, and it's copied the styles of many designers. The sweetheart neckline is just it's stunning. I mean, it is just a gorgeous, really chic style dress. Um, and the little cinch waist again flows out on the bottom so it doesn't show too much but yet shows that you have a really nice figure when you can that. eat too we paired it with really simple accessories just a little black clutch and um, dangling earrings since Michelle doesn't wear a really a lot of jewelry she'll just add one little bit of sparkle yeah go to Bloomingdale's exactly you see that? yep. that's where they got the earrings <laughs> <laughs> that exactly okay finally a little bit of heaven this yes. is the uh, little uh, ooh look at this oh, this, this is beautiful a little bit of heaven this heaven is my I just love it. Um, JC Couture do, does this dress, and I, um, I love the top of it. It's a lace detail, and we've seen a lot of lace on the runways, so that's why we sort of think Michelle might go for that. Um, it's a sophisticated look, and we have seen her in those more classic, sophisticated styles. Um, a little bit sheer, but nothing too revealing. Cinched at the waist, and then the ball gown goes out a little bit more, which is more popular for the inaugurations. We see a lot more of those bigger ball gown styles. Mm -hmm. That's why we think this one might be something she might go for as well. You can never go wrong with that. No, and then the top really has a lot of little sparkle detail, sort of sheer on the top, not showing off too much, but enough where it kind of gives that illusion of like what's underneath. Still really? very pretty. Yes, yeah, great yeah, looks. Really gorgeous. Thank you, Don Del Russo and all of our beautiful yeah. models that came to model for us. Next time we have to get kids in here to do Sasha and Malia. Yeah, I know. You know? Well, hey. well, actually, they won't have the chance again, but still, this was great. Well, they're young ladies Thank now. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, in today's Q from the Couch, we're asking if you could have lunch with one president or first lady dead or alive, who would it be? So answer the question for us. Visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash WLNYTV. Follow us on Twitter as well at WLNYTV to answer it later in the show. We're going to share some of your answers and ours as well. I really like this question. Yeah, me too. This is a good one. You see. Answer and, and, and tell us why, too. Okay. Not just Lincoln. Okay. Well, because that's what we thought you were going to no. say. <laughs> so. This is interesting. I'm excited to learn about this as well. How some good for you foods could actually be sabotaging your weight loss. Coming up, we'll tell you why and what you can do about it. Oatmeal. Hey, got the winter blues? Stay with us for these simple tricks to get you out of that blue slump. Go running. Oh, yeah, that's going to make me happy. <laughs>